Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah Garrison with Jake, and we have some important information we'd like to share with you. Hi, Myra. Hi, Dr. Jeff. Hey, Patches. So I hear that Patches has been having some stool problems lately. Mm. You're pretty observant, so tell me what exactly is going on. Well, overall, he seems fine, but over the past week or so, he's had really soft stools. It's pretty smelly. It's even covered with a mucus coating, and sometimes even with blood. Now, how about his appetite and energy? Are they okay? And have you changed his food at all lately? Except for his stool problem, he seems great. As far as his food goes, he's been eating that same food you recommended, and he still enjoys it. Hmm. Let me ask you a question. Do you ever take Patches up to the dog park or go hiking near any streams or lakes or ponds? Definitely, almost every week. He, it's his favorite thing to do. Um, is there anything I should be worried about? Well, you know, based on the history, it could be a lot of things, but I'm really suspicious that he may have picked up a parasite, specifically one called Giardia. Giardia? Yeah, it's Giardia is a, a one-celled protozoan parasite that can be picked up from the feces of an infected animal or from drinking water or eating food that was contaminated with the organism shed from the feces of these infected animals. And the organism attacks the small and large intestine. It interferes with digestion and absorption, thus the diarrhea yeah. and the mucousy stool and sometimes even with blood. And in advanced cases, the animals can actually start to vomit, stop eating, and maybe lose weight. Is this very serious? How can we tell for sure if Patches has the infection? Well, fortunately, the infection sounds and looks worse than it is. It's usually not that bad and it responds very well to treatment. You know, the biggest challenge is making the diagnosis. It's very difficult to find these little cysts that we're looking for, and therefore we often have to do multiple fecal examinations. Um, now, in, in tough cases, we can resort sometimes to a blood antigen test to help us make that diagnosis. So if Patches tests positive, how do we treat him? Could I have prevented this? Well, there are a number of treatments available, uh, either specialized antibiotics or specialized anti-Giardia medications. And though none of them are always 100% effective, they're usually pretty good at keeping the infection in check. Um, I also like to resort to some dietary modification to help soothe that intestine. Um, and in frequent cases or cases where they're chronically infected, I might even resort to a vaccination to help. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as prevention, the key is sanitation. Just make sure the yard is cleaned up well. And when you are on those hikes, take your own water with you so he doesn't have to drink that stagnant water from the ponds or the puddles. Right. Okay, well, now you've got me concerned. Let's have his stools evaluated, and if your hunch is right, let's start treatment ASAP. Absolutely. So what I'll do is I'll take him in the back, collect my samples, and have a seat out front, and I'll have him out for you in uh, just a few minutes. Okay. Great. Giardia is becoming more and more common, and the infection can be transmitted to people, not just pets. If you w notice any change in your pet's stool consistency, frequency, or color, make sure to have that stool checked regularly. And as always, make sure you and your family wash your hands well after handling your pet or the pets of others. Thanks for joining us on Pet Care TV. I'm Dr. Jeff Werber.